So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this lab so first of all click on start lab I know you are worried about the lab no need to worry let's complete it together so now just open the console incognito window now just click on agree and continue now from here what you need to do you have to go to the API and services from here and just click on the library and basically we have to enable the data catalog API so from here what you need to do just click copy this name from here and just search over here and hit enter now what you need to do you have to just click on this first one now just click on enable and just wait for it to get enabled get any error like action fail just refresh the browser and try this step again now we got the score now basically we have to activate the cloud shell and we'll be using the commands now now just activate the cloud shell click on continue and just authorize yourself now go back to the lab and just copy it from here and paste over here and hit enter now again we need to just go and just run this for cloning the github repository here now just wait for some time and after that we'll be changing the directory so just for directory copy this and wait for the github to just do its work now just do this and we are in this directory just export the zone and region first we are exporting the region and after that we'll be exporting the zone so just do it like this now just initiate this session so it will take some time basically it shows 10 to 15 minutes so just wait for it i am fast forwarding it and if you get this kind of error just rerun these commands so now let's wait Now, as you can see these tasks have been done now we will go to the lab instruction and hit check my progress and also execute the second command so let's move ahead and just hit check my progress and just copy it and paste over here now wait for these to execute and now we have to just download the key so run this and again the third one also just run it now it will take some time so wait for it so basically we have created the service account so sometimes it may take time so wait for it see we got the score there now just again change the directory now from here just add this basically we are setting the password and username now just change back to the root directory now from here execute the connector so just wait for it to complete Basically, it will take some more time, so you need to wait for it. So now just wait for a few minutes and then once the cloud shell is idle, we'll hit check my progress for the task. So it's still executing the steps. finally this part also has been completed now we'll move forward to the lab instruction and hit check my progress and if you are not getting the score instantly no need to worry about it because lab takes time to update the score so you have to just keep hitting check my progress until you get the score so just do this once again and as you can see we have already completed this task and just hit check my progress again so finally we got the score now we have to run this part so just you can clean up if you want but in my case i'm not cleaning now from here we have to change the directory and again establish a mysql database so for that just copy it here and go back to the root directory and here just copy these scripts now again change the directory and then export the region export the zone and just run this so suppose if you get again the error in this init command no need to worry about it 
just rerun after some time and it will work now again wait for 5 to 10 minutes and then just simply go back to the lab instruction and hit check my progress so let's wait this part also has been completed now what you have to do is just create a service account so how you will create the service account you have to go to the lab instruction and again just run this one so let me show you you have to run this one just hit enter and wait for it to create it so now, now again just like previous step add a key and now just add the data catalog so just run it now it's done now what you have to do you have to again change the directory first let's hit check my progress so we got the score now for this part we have to just do only this step only so as you can see we got 85 out of 100 so now for the last step what you need to do is this only so just first of all change the directory and then set the environment variables now just change the directory again and just execute this connector now wait for this connector to get complete and then we'll hit check my progress and if you haven't liked the video like it and do subscribe the channel all tasks have been completed now what you need to do is that just hit check my progress and if you're new to the channel check the description for the skill badges and lab and that's the way we have to complete this lab we have finally done this lab with a lot of words thank you guys